at what point in the storyline did you discover surfing? Um, I didn't really start surfing until I was about 24. Oh, okay. So, yeah, um, I was playing golf with my dad one day in, in a place called Strand Hill in County Sligo, which is where I live now. And the, the golf course goes across the ocean, you know, the seventh hole is a beautiful hole across the ocean. And I was playing golf with him one day and there was a load of people out surfing and stuff like that. And I was kind of like looking out at it going, wow, that looks really good. Like, I really want to give that a shot. And he was like, well, why don't you? And I was like, well, you know, I don't really know how to go about it. So he was like, well, why don't you pop down to that fella down in the village there? You know, a guy called Tom Hickey, a uh, really old school legend. Uh, so I was like, yeah, good idea. So I popped into Tom. I said, listen, I'm really interested in, in a surf lesson. And he was like, sure, when do you want to go? And I was like, now, <laughs> you know, is now a good time? And he was like, yeah, yeah. So he says, you know, give me a half hour or whatever. We get the equipment out. So he pulled out the, the wetsuits and the big foamy boards and stuff like that. And, and out we went and, you know, he pushed me into a few waves. And straight away, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Just just being in the water, I think, more than anything. Um, it definitely felt like this is a real enjoyable pastime. So then we, we came out of that lesson and I said to him, you know, when can I go again? And he was like, well, next week. And I was like, well, what about tomorrow? You know, and he was like, oh, OK, my wife can take you out tomorrow. So his wife, Simone, took me out the next day. And uh, same thing again. And I came in from that and I was like, all right, I want to book another lesson. And he was like, well, you know, I don't really have an awful lot of time. I said, all right, forget about a lesson. Give me that surfboard. Give me that wetsuit. And he was like, really? I don't really know if that surfboard's the right board for you. And I was like, well, doesn't matter. It'll do. You know, obviously having no clue about surfboards whatsoever, not having a notion as to what I was buying. But I ended up buying a, a decent surfboard in the end that I got back to. I never, I didn't actually learn to surf on it in the end because it was too small. But yeah. um, it was like an eight foot mini mile style board. Um, so I tried surfing on that for probably a good three to four months. But also, you know, I'm not there. I wasn't there all the time. I was kind of like flying away over to London for a few months, come back for a few days, over back, over back, that type of vibe. And um, so I was splashing around for a good few months. And then I said to my wife, I really want to go on holiday to Hawaii, girlfriend at the time. And she was like, really, Hawaii? And I was like, well, yeah, we'd already been to Barbados. And I, you know, had a little try of surfing in Barbados, but it wasn't successful. It wasn't very successful. So we went out to Hawaii. Kind of similar thing happened, you know, walked into local motion surf shop, saw a cool surfboard, bought a cool surfboard off the rack, paddled out at Pops in uh, Waikiki. And this older lady goes, hey, man, you know, you're not going to catch any waves on that board. And I was like, really? Why? Like, you know, and she's like, it's just too small. You need a big long board out here. So I was like, yeah, whatever. Paddled out, tried to catch a wave, couldn't catch a wave for loving her money. Came back in probably a half an hour later and there was a little shack right next door to the hotel I was staying in. They had like these big 10 foot long boards and I was like, give me one of them. Got one of them, went out, all of a sudden, boom, just started catching waves one after the other. And I was like, wow, this is it. This is this is what it's all about. Went back in, said to my wife, let's go back to the surf shop. Back to the surf shop, got myself a really nice long board, which I still have today. And uh, surfed away on that. And then just was completely hooked from there on out, you know, just the, the feeling, the atmosphere, this whole new world was opening up to me, you know, surfing had never been a thing to me before, but just this whole new world, it just completely opened up to me, started meeting loads of new people, loads of new friends, you know, kind of hanging around, having a reason to kind of hang around, you know, like I used to come back to Ireland when I was from working and not really having anything to do, you know, just kind of like sitting around, but, you know, I didn't want to sit in London either because I'm just hanging around in London. So now all of a sudden I had, I had something to do that I really loved. I played a bit of golf and things like that, but you know, I had something that I really loved. So before I knew it, I was getting my teeth really stuck in. And then as the years rolled on, it's turned into like, you know, surf trips all the way to today, you know?